Hello everybody and welcome back to the Castaways Minecraft Vanilla Survival Server. I needed a more concise intro than that. <laughs> Hello everybody, how's it going? Uh, don't worry, we're not working here in my underwater farm base again. Uh, in fact, I'm considering it pretty much done. I just need to fill in the wall here with the same kind of pattern we were working on here, and then get some kind of formal entrance and everything. So what do you guys think? I finished this up on a live stream after having gotten started on it in a previous uh, episode. And I'm pretty happy with it. I was concerned about how I was going to get up on these different planters, and the Cirque had suggested doing uh, some minecarts to click into, which I really like, but I feel like that could have gotten bulky and or taken up growing space. So I've decided to just do little bits of ladder so we can get up and down and whatnot. And we've got our little cow farm in here. We need to breed these fools up. Get baby making, will ya? And I actually need... Hya! To cull... Oh crap, I want a leather. I didn't want to cull this much. There we go, okay. <laughs> I just needed enough leather for a book because we have an important mission today. There we go, and then a little bit of that, a little bit of that. There we go. Alright, cool. So that will be great for later. And I had a book. That's, that's wonderful. Alright. Culling, culling worthless. Gosh darn it. We'll, we'll make another one for good measure. So feel free to let me know what you guys think. I really like the, the corners, how those turned out. And I think the rest of it is good enough. <laughs> Honestly, it's good enough. I'm, I'm just a Cthulhu, I don't need anything super fancy. Um, so for today, our important item of business is something I've alluded to before. We need to go pay a visit to Miss E. Rose, and we need to extend a formal invitation to her to join the Garden Club. That's right, so if you're not familiar, the Garden Club is the secret group, secret club that Proxy and I have started. Hello, friends. We have started to, to try to uh, force a little law and order and good taste onto this server. Um, it all started between Proxy and Ty Designs. They had a little border battle, and Ty, his place has just been a mess from day one, and it was getting on Proxy's nerves. So we figured we had to, we had to send a message, get him, get him straightened out. And I feel like that worked out pretty well. Except he, my goodness, if you haven't seen his retaliations, oof, he he went a little too far. Um, anyway, ooh, there's there's stuff here at Eros's base. Let's not spoil too much. But see, this is what I mean. Look at this base. Does this not seem like a person that should be part of the Garden Club? I mean, minus the, uh, the random pigmen. But this place is amazing. Look at that chandelier! Look at that. Eros has got it figured out. She knows what's up. Plus, she's given me quite a few things in the past, so that's a plus. But look at this place. Look at the work she does. Look at the... Hello, chicken! Look at the beautifulness of everything she's got going on. And check this out, guys. I've never actually checked this out on camera. Uh, Eros did a video of this a while back. Star the Eagle! Freedom! If you'll remember, for 4th of July, I, I gave some presents to all of the Americans here on the server. And some of them were eagle eggs, and I gave some freedoms out as well. I think there's a freedom right there. Yep. And some beautiful, some beautiful uh, flags as well. And it just so happens that Eros was wise enough and skilled enough to incubate one of those eagle eggs. And look at this. Star the Eagle. And apparently Star the Eagle has figured out cellular division as a means of reproduction. And we also have Stripes the Eagle. So we've got Star and Stripes. How beautiful is that? So I figured I would pay them a visit. And I, it's been... Oh, hello. Another eagle. It's been quite some time now since Eros posted her video. I meant to get to this a lot sooner. But she didn't really have appropriate food for these eagles, so I brought some appropriate food along. That's right. Freedom eagles, they survive and thrive off of communism. They consume it, and they they purify it. So we are going to get a little bit of freedom action going here. Boom! Look at that. 
little free free baby eagle bird it's beautiful <laughs> so you know what gosh darn it i should have brought a chest because we need to leave this this communism behind so that the the eagles can continue to feed and and be fruitful and multiply so uh, we'll leave these behind in eros's base i guess uh, but I really appreciate Eros taking such good care of the eagle eggs that I gave to her. Oh, that's cool. Little shroom. What's going on here? A little bee! It's a little bee! Ah, look at this! Eros! There's a beehive! Are we in, like, Super Mario Land or something? I know. Oh, you just, you just crapped out an egg at me. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is why Eros needs to be... A garden club member, because she has got it going on. Look at the apples in the freaking tree. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Okay, so the only issue I can think of. Oh, it's a gift from Ty. Interesting. Only issue I can think of is. As far as I can tell, Eros has a pretty tight allegiance to Cubulus. They've been friends for a while, ever since back on the Wolf Tribe server, as far as I know. Actually, probably the Wolf Pride server before that. And the issue I see is that Cubulus doesn't seem to have the same morals and values that the, the Garden Club strives for. So that could be an issue. I don't know if I'm supposed to be showing any of this off. Oh, no, no, this is her bedroom. I think this is this is chill. We need to, yeah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> um, so her allegiance to Cubulus could be an issue. We'll have to, we'll have to bring that into question and see. Um, no, you know what? This is a stupid place for this. We should have this up by, oh, hey, Eros, speak of the devil. There we go, in case Star and Stripes gets hungry. Get... Get hungry. Okay, good, I did do that right. <laughs> so, it's kind of awkward that uh, Eros signed on right as we're here in her base, leaving her goodies. So... Let me... Let me hop into the nether. Uh, yeah, let's hop into the nether. I need to actually come up with what I want to say in my formal invitation here, and I don't really want to be standing on her base making it awkward. Because that's not how how those of us in the Garden Club operate. So let's hop over here into my beautiful little hub, so precariously placed on the precipice here. And let's think about what we want to say to Eros while we have this beautiful sound of Nether Portal going in the background. All right, here we go. And this is even more awkward because uh, another party in question has just joined the server. But anyway, Here's what we have. Dear Eros, you have been deemed worthy to join the Garden Club based on the merits of your impeccable builds and tasteful bribes. We consider you a valuable asset and ally to our cause. Consider this your formal invitation to our elite guild. You need only demonstrate that you have no undesirable allegiance to one Cubulus, and you will be welcomed with open arms. Yours truly, Garden Club Grand Duke. So there you have it. Formal invitation. Oh no! Okay, it's not going to be formal. <laughs> An invitation. Okay, that looks right. Sign and close. Boom. So what's, what's going on with this Cubulus guy? Now, the reason I say that Cubulus doesn't really mesh with Garden Club values. Yeah, you look at Proxy's build. She's working with the environment. She's caring for the environment around her. Her build is lush and beautiful and is thriving and lifelike and just all around in great taste. You look at my build. I, I go low impact. I work with the land. I live in the land. And I respect the land that I live on. Now, now you look at Cubulus. Okay, um, Portal, could you not? Portal, I'm gonna kick you out of the club. I will kick you out of the club. Do not test me. I am the Grand Duke! Portal! I hate this server. I hate this server. Castaways, you suck. Okay, we're better. Okay, now you look at Cubulus's build. 
What is he doing? He is slapping down a gigantic eyesore of a castle. Right next to me, mind you. Right next to me. And this unnatural, man-made monstrosity of stone. That, that doesn't mesh with garden club mentalities whatsoever. What is he thinking? So, yeah. That's, that's all I have to say on that. Now, we need to steal some more of e Rose's stuff so we can give her our message. Could I... Can I open a chest, please? By the way, this is amazing. GameCube love. Um, okay, we got that. What is this? This is so cool. It's her little reading nook! Oh my gosh, E-Rose! You need to be on the garden club so bad. Is this her closet? She's got a freaking closet, guys! Look at this! Look at this! Jiminy Christmas. This girl's amazing. Okay, uh, we need to steal a sign from her. Well, we're not stealing, we're borrowing, because it's it's not going to leave her base, for crying out loud. Uh, I don't really want to use her wood to make the sign, because she may have other intentions for that wood. Surely, surely an E-Rose of this caliber has a sign around somewhere. Surely. Surely she does. My goodness, maybe I need to rethink things a little bit. You know what? Here, let's let's do the item frame instead. Chest goes there. <laughs> Little reorganization for her. Okay, where would she be? Yeah, she would see it right here. Let's do that. Boom. And unfortunately, you can't see it. Can I? No. Can I also name this, or would it screw it up? Yeah, it's called an invitation. That's strange. So why... Can I still do that? Let's try this. Or could we also do... Ha ha ha! Let's give that a try. Ha ha ha! And it's still crooked. That's interesting, so it saves the... <laughs> okay, so there we have it. Formal invitation. Wonderful. And let's just, let's offset this a little bit. There we go. Alright, so there you have it, folks. That is our formal invitation to Eros to join the Garden Club. And don't worry, Proxy and I have talked this over quite a bit, and we are of the same mind on this on this uh, this case so no fear there now one last thing I would like to do today is go back to our little uh, witch doctor hut that we made a while back and uh, check on the fan of the month I want to see so it's a new month so we need to get a new fan of the month we're halfway through this month already um, and I haven't seen anyone talk about it in the chat but I want to go check and see if any of the other castaways members have uh, labeled someone as their fan of the month so let's go check that out. Here we are at the beautiful, beautiful beginnings of the Garden Club base. Uh, and just so you don't see where the entrance is, <clears throat> I'm gonna cut this out for a minute. Oh, look at our beautiful little hut. I, you know what, it's simple, but I'm pleased with how it turned out. What? What? What is going on here, guys? Yeah, Cubius, you better leave. What? Fan of the month for August's Lefty Mew. Member of the year 2015 tie designs. What? Oh, very clever tie. Very clever. So you think just because we blew up your base, you can just come in here and leave all this TNT around my build. I am very concerned about this. I don't want to step on that pressure plate. Is that... What is going on here? That one's not left by me. Unbelievable! Can you... You know what? For a guy who, who portrays the, the nice guy mentality uh, in his videos, his actions are speaking a little bit louder than words here. Unbelievable. Alright, so... 
Um, anyway, back to business here. Fan of the month. It Ultimately, it's up to the members of Castaways to choose the next uh, fan of the month. But if you guys have any recommendations, feel free to leave comments uh, on that. If you've, if you've noticed someone throughout multiple Castaway videos, you know, ma uh, members of Castaways, uh, if you've noticed someone really, you know, getting involved and repping the crew, because I'm, I'm, I'm hip, I can use something like that, um, and being active on Reddit and stuff like that, and submitting ideas for things. If you guys have noticed that kind of stuff going on, let me know. Let me know who that is, and I will recommend them to the crew, and see if we should choose them as the next fan of the month. And, you know what? I never did get Lefty Mew's head. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, I think I have the command set. Um, I'm really nervous to use that pressure plate uh, with the whole place rigged, so I'm just gonna use my high-tech defusing device here to, to remove some of the issues. There we go. I can't believe he would do such a thing. My goodness, dude, seriously. Okay, that should be safe enough. Ha ha ha! Lefty Mew's head! And let's pop him. I don't have a great place for it. Let's pop him right there. Boom! There we go! Lefty Mew. So, thank you very much, dude, for being such a great supporter of us here on the server. So, leave your suggestions for who you think might be another good fan of the month for September. I suppose it can be the same person. I don't see why not, but I feel like we should spread the love around a little bit. Spread the thanks around. But uh, regardless, I'll talk to the guys on the server and see who they think uh, deserves that spot as well. And apparently, things are not done with Ty. We, you know, oh wait, hold on, hold on. I almost forgot the most important part of this video. I think not, good sir. I think not. Ha ha ha! That's what I think of your sign, your tidy sign. Unbelievable. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to go give Eros some love, cause she would make a wonderful member of the Garden Club. So, go to one of her latest videos and tell her that you think so. Make her an offer she cannot refuse. Let her know that you guys want to see her on the Garden Club. And then she can help us bring justice to the likes of Tie Designs and Cubulus. Although geese do scare her. I'm not sure if I want a scaredy cat on the club. Nope, nope, nope. She's good enough. She's more than good enough. All right, so go let her know that she should join the club. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys again next time for more adventures here on the Castaway server.